Hey. What's up? What are you doing here? It's Wednesday. Slow down, everyone. You're moving too fast. Hey guys, it's Wednesday again. Seems like there's a Wednesday every week or something. It makes sense, but you know, it's great to see you guys again. It's nice to have someone to talk to every week. A camera, even if it doesn't talk back, because, um, you know, it's just nice letting loose and just kind of talking about things. But the weekend was pretty cool. It was glorious outside. On Saturday, I just spent time with friends. I played frisbee for two hours. That was Saturday, and I'm still sore. This butt, it hurts to sit right now. These hips <laughs> hurts to walk. And, you know, I think I'm just becoming an old man. I'm out of shape, you know, I just need to start getting back into shape. That's that's what it comes down to. Sunday, hung out, watched football like always. But it was, it was a good weekend. Monday night, I went to a concert with Luke. Um, it was Disciple, Children 18-3. It was awesome. I loved it. That was a lot of fun. It was the first concert I've been doing in a long time. And you know, it was, it was a nice break. This morning, I got beat up by a blind girl at judo. Okay, she is a yellow belt, a step above me, so she could probably kick my butt. She just beat me up. Made me want to drop out of college. But you know, that's all right. One day, I will be a yellow belt, and she better watch out. Gonna move on to the questions now. Um, Connor's would you rather question. Would I rather go this path, lose all my friends, keep my family, but get to my dream job, make new friends along the way, but lose all my friends right now, or would I rather go this path, still make new friends along the way, but keep all the ones that I already have, and you know, keep my family and everything, but never get to my dream job, never get to where I want to be as of now. I care too much about the people that I have in my life now to ever ditch them, just kind of get up and leave to go this way and get my own personal gain rather than taking this way, still keeping the friends that I have. So I think I would go this route, not get to my ultimate dreams, but still find a career. Although it, uh, I won't be as happy, I think I'd be ultimately happier because I'd have the people I care about most. I think I'd be able to find happiness in there. Okay, to Connor's bonus question. Why do people keep doing things if they know that they're wrong? And you know, I'm just gonna have to agree by saying people are not. And uh, I don't know, sometimes, uh, for example, smokers, they wanna quit smoking because they know it's wrong, but they depend too much on it and uh, they just can't quit no matter how much they want to, no matter how much they think it's wrong. So I think sometimes people are just too dependent on what they're doing even if they do know it's wrong and they would like to change it, that um, they just can't stop. Maybe in other situations they're just doing that th certain thing to make other people happy. I don't know. But on to Brandon's question, um, what is my least favorite class thus far? And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with physics on this one. Because that class, I have to meet three times a week for a lecture for an hour each time, once a week for uh, another hour for a discussion. Then I have to meet once more a week for two hours for a lab. It's a lot of physics all in one week. I don't see the point in doing a lab to prove that gravity pulls things down and stuff like that. Uh, whatever. You know, it's not that bad. On to Love and Luke's question. Have I ever said I love you to someone and meant it unconditionally, sincerely? You know, although some of us may think that it's impossible to love at such a young age. Mr. No. I feel that I have encountered love. I think the only way to truly know if you love someone is uh, you can feel it when you do love someone. It's not just that same feeling, oh, I think I like this girl. I want to date her. 
It's a lot more than that. You can just tell when you love a girl. I can say that I have felt this feeling. I have said, and I love you, and truly meant it. On to Keith's question. I don't really know what Keith's question was. If I said something to someone, and I didn't mean any offense, and that person got offended, was what I said offensive? And I'm gonna have to say um, no to this question. Although that person took offense to what I said, um, I didn't mean to be offensive in any way. So I think it's just a misunderstanding. No, not offensive. Uh, now it's time for my question for all you good question guys and for all the fans out there. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? You know, I just, I've been thinking about it and I, I've never been really embarrassed. For example, I'm at a water park and then, you know, my shorts just fall off. I'm naked. Everyone sees me. Nothing like that has ever happened to me, I guess. So I've never had, I've never had a really, truly embarrassing moment. But I'm going to have to go with, in seventh grade gym class, I forgot my gym clothes. And that was a day where we had to run in circles around the gym for like eight minutes. Luckily that day, I wore button-up pants to school. The ones that button up the side. And as I was running... I hit the side of my pants, causing that whole side to unbutton in a chain reaction. My pants just fell off. Even luckier was that I was wearing my SpongeBob boxers that day. My whole seventh grade class just got a taste of what I'm all about, and they saw some skin. So that's pretty embarrassing. But I want to know what embarrassing things have ever happened to you guys. You better let me know. I'm curious. No shave November. Luke, shave. Keith, shaved. Rob's, no shave. Connor came into November with a full beard. I think Connor was celebrating, oh, don't shave October. Brandon, you look awesome with a beard. Keep it going. You know what? I'm going to stick through it. This will probably get pretty nasty with the whatever mustache I get, um, whatever boyish beard I get. It might get kind of gross looking. I don't know. But I'm gonna stick to my guns, and you know what? I'm gonna get this get this beard going. Well, this is the end of my video. It's really good to see you guys again. You know, I like what we have here. I like, I like you. I'm really glad we have this friendship. I'm really glad we get to see each other every week. Please don't leave me. Please come back every Wednesday to see me. I need you. I can't do this without you. Well, that was weird. And I will see all of you next Wednesday.